Game Ranks presents the 10 best new iOS and Android games from September 2015. You guys got mobile phones and a lot of time to kill, so let's get right into it, starting off with number 10. Cute Things Dying Violently should win awards for the most descriptive game title ever, because that's exactly what you get here. It's a physics-based puzzle game similar to Angry Birds, except this time with violent, horrible gore. It's all about these little cute critter guys that you have to kill, and you kill hundreds of them, sometimes in just one level. You burn them, you shock them, you cut them in half, you light them on fire, and you do it in over 48 different levels. What makes this one stand out is that there's actually a level editor. You can make your own levels and share them with friends. And at number 9, we have Worms 4. The Worms games are basically when you play as a team of worms who have to fight other teams of worms using a bunch of weapons. The Worms series is classically zany, and Worms 4 definitely is no slouch. What makes Worms 4 special is that there's smaller teams, daily challenges, a bunch of events and leaderboards, and upgradable weapons. As much as it's very much a shooty battle explosion game, it feels a bit like a puzzle, and the way you have to figure things out and use weapons to your advantage is a lot of fun and very engaging. It's all about using the environment and weapons to your advantage, and you're gonna have a lot of fun with this one. And at number 8, we have Star Wars Uprising. Yes, this is one of the first official new Star Wars canon games, and it's pretty cool. It's a lot like a Star Wars Diablo, even though that's kind of underselling it. You create your own character from a bunch of different races, and you go out on a quest as a cool Han Solo-like character who explores the galaxy and fights a bunch of stormtroopers. That being said, there is a very cool Star Wars here that takes place after Return of the Jedi, and gives you a little bit of just how the world of Star Wars works after the Emperor was defeated. You can jump into it for free on iOS and Android, and if you're a Star Wars fan, it's definitely worth taking a minute to download. And at number 7 we have Magic Flute. Magic Flute is an iOS casual style puzzle game similar to Monument Valley or Good Night, that sleepwalking game, where you move a character around different tiles. What makes Magic Flute stand out is that it's based on the Magic Flute opera by Mozart. The gameplay, art direction, and music style is all inspired by this classic Mozart piece. It's an accessible, easy game that doesn't really stress you out, and there's 30 levels. And judging by the reviews, it seems like puzzle fans are really enjoying this one. And speaking of puzzle fans, at number 6 we have SPL-T. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but this game is really unique. Just look at it. This is a puzzle game where you have to go as long as you can before eventually losing. There's mounting pressure, and it's really difficult. And it takes a while to grasp it at first, but the more you play, the better you get at it, and the more fun it becomes. Coming down halfway on our list, at number 5, we have Blocky Highway. Blocky Highway is a game about racing traffic, avoiding trains, collecting cars, and having a blast. It feels like an endless runner, it looks a bit like Crossy Road, but the visuals are gorgeous, and this game is pretty addicting. Of course, this is one of those free games with a bunch of collectible things, and, you know, you have the option to purchase, but thankfully it doesn't get in the way too much. This is a fun, simple game about high-speed racing and dodging oncoming cars, and it's a blast. And at number 4, for platforming fans, we have Hapiko. The description of Hapiko is an intense speedrun platformer where you get to save video games. You jump around on platforms, avoid death, dodge objects, use shortcuts to your advantage, and the game's got this awesome retro-futuristic style that's totally gorgeous. It controls really well, and thankfully there's over 100 levels. This is a $5 platformer game that'll keep you busy for a while. It's fast, brutal, and really fun for quick pick-up-and-play moments. And at number 3, we have Unkilled from the creators of Shadowgun and Dead Trigger, those games where you shoot stuff. Unkilled is no different, it's a game where you shoot stuff. This time around, it's zombies, and a lot of times it's on-rails turret shooters. But the game is graphically so impressive with a bunch of particle effects, cars, humans, zombies, bullets flying around, explosions. It really is quite a sight to see. And it is free-to-play, and it has a little bit of that free-to-play bullshit. But ultimately, if you just want to shoot a bunch of stuff for free with pretty graphics, Unkilled might be right up your alley. And at number 2 we have PewDiePie, Legend of the Brofist. Now listen, you can criticize PewDiePie all you want, but the fact remains that this is actually a pretty damn good little game. While the $4.99 price point seems a little steep, this is a well-designed game with great platforming, classic style levels. Sure, there's a lot of references to his YouTube channel and all the inside jokes, and for the rest of us it might seem a little bit insufferable, but once you get past that, the music, the level design are all top-notch. Every single level is completely different, and this game has a lot of variety. One level you're in a cave, the next you're jumping from car to car on a speeding highway, Way, then you're in a flying airplane shooting down barrels. Legend of the Brofist is a lot of fun, and it's available on iOS and Android. And at number one, we have Rebuild 3, Gangs of Deadsville. Rebuild 3 is a strategy sim game with a good helping of narrative and humor. It's one of those games where you gotta really care about your group of survivors and upgrade your fort to survive. You have to fend off raiders, fight illness, starvation, and craziness. It's an endlessly replayable game with 30 missions, a bunch of resources, 50 building types, over 100 perks, and a bunch of dialogue and story and character building. People are going nuts over this game, and it is pretty awesome. 
So guys, those were the 10 best new iOS and Android games from September 2015. Of course, there are so many mobile games out there, so we want to know what you were playing in September, what you think is the best. Share it with us. And if you did have a good time and maybe discovered a new game, click the like button because that's the best way you can help us out. And subscribing is the best thing you can do for real because we put out videos every single day. But guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.